Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had an amazing week. It's Sunday, so that's like end of the week, right? This video is about days of the week. So I was sent a few pieces from a new Elf Retro Paradise collection from Elf, which is great, thank you so much. And I've actually seen a lot of you ask me to review these products because you see my previous full face of Elf products. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through what they sent me and kind of, um, I guess, see what happens. So these were gifted to me. So this isn't sponsored, uh, meaning they're not paying me. It was just a gift, so a free gift. It was free. <laughs> and I haven't been asked to make this video by the brand either. So let's have a little play and see what happens. Just before we get into this video, say if you don't know who I am, hi, my name's Robert. I'm a professional makeup artist in real life and also here on YouTube. And it is my goal to help you become a pro yourself or just someone who's really good at makeup. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, then please consider subscribing. Okay, listen guys, it has been a week off like do you ever have those weeks where you're just, or days, or hours, you know what, it's more hours of the day, where you're just like, I shouldn't have picked up my phone today, I shouldn't have gone on social media today, <laughs> you know? I'll explain. So let's start with the Primer Glow Oil. So this is a oil primer. I tend to stay away from oil primers myself personally, as I have very oily skin, but it's oily dehydrated, um, but I do find oils can be a little bit hydrating. I use oils in my nighttime routine, um, but I don't use them in my before makeup routine. Free skincare routines. But my before makeup routine is very um, mattifying. Um, my morning routine is just regular. My evening routine is my oils, my active ingredients, everything like that. So it does suggest to use one or two drops. I'm gonna use like one and a half drops. So I had a lot of these comments this week. <laughs> I asked, um, what do you want to see me do when it's safe to do so? Because obviously we can't have a moment, but when I can get um, models, not clients, clients are private, but when I can get models who willingly want to put themselves online in front of people, what would you like to see me do on them? What kind of makeup would you like me to recreate? So I would like to kind of answer some of your requests, um, but on models, if that makes sense, because a lot of you ask for very specific things, specific eye shapes that um, obviously I don't have, so it'd be nice to get some um, models with those eye shapes. But I've had a lot of these comments that's like, oh, you're so eager to give out advice, but you only do makeup on yourself. Yeah, I'm eager to give out advice because that's what my channel is about, it's about education. And let me tell you something, starting out as a makeup artist, I never did makeup on myself, ever. It was always on models, it was always on clients. I only started to do makeup on myself about, when did I start doing YouTube properly? Oh, not even. I posted my first makeup look on myself on my Instagram, like, two, three years ago. And I've been doing makeup for about 13 years. Doing makeup on yourself, for me, is a lot harder than doing it on a client. So I would gladly do it on, on a model for you guys. But don't take my advice offensively or personally. It's not meant to be like that at all. And somebody also asked as well, what's the point in my um, reaction videos? Why do I have to react to like um, whatever um, other influencers? And the point is, I say a lot, that it's to separate what we see online versus what is actually achievable in real life. Again, online it's lighting. Everything looks different in this light. So my point in my reaction videos isn't to insult the person who I'm reacting to. I never do that. If you watch any of my videos, I will never insult the person because there's no need to. And not because I'm a 31 year old man, I don't need to, I have a life. It's to watch and critique in a way that is helpful to others because each one of those individuals has a different face. They have a different technique. They have a different eye shade, a different eye shape, different nose shape, and everyone does makeup differently, which is absolutely fine. However, only certain techniques work on certain people in certain lightings. That's a bit of a rant there for you guys. So I'm gonna let that sit for a while because I can still kind of feel this kind of layer on my skin, which is absolutely fine. I'm gonna kind of see what my skin can absorb. And um, this is why I don't really use oils before makeup, evening time, absolutely, but before makeup on myself, I'm not too fond of it. It does feel nice, actually, on my skin. My skin feels nice and plump and hydrated. Let's get onto the eyes. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer first. I also, um, I've been hearing you guys as well that you want more kind of like drugstore review products, um, which is cool. I'm gonna try and get some more. So these eye primers are putty primers. I'm actually gonna use a lot more. They're really, really nice. Um, and they're dupes for the MAC paint pots. I have chosen not to use MAC or Estee Lauder companies anymore for um, personal belief reasons. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what to say. I was using Painterly paint pot, whereas this is more like the soft ochre shade, but they do have a shade that's also 
really similar to painterly. Um, and they just sit really nice on the lid. I know paint pots can be really drying for some people. These aren't as dry. Oh, right. So let's take a look at the Retro Paradise palette. So there's only like one purple, so they're challenging me. <laughs> and that's fine. My first video of when I did a full face of e.l.f., I reviewed the small eyeshadow palettes. And I was like, these are fine, but you know, they could do this, they could do this. And as I was editing that video, I was thinking about the price point. And I was like, these are three pounds. The quality for the price is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this green. And let's take it right through a socket. These are the brushes from the J Kisser collection. I wanna take that slightly higher on the inside corner than I usually would, because we're gonna cut crease it. That is really, really bright. I've been really impressed recently, in general with brands, with the kind of these pastel -y shades they've been making. I always think with um, pastel eyeshadows that they're really difficult to formulate because when you put on a pastel and then go to blend it out, it's like the color completely disappears. And I bought the Morphe um, pastel palette, which I really didn't like. I really didn't like the texture. I thought it was awful. Um, but I really like Pony, whose collaboration it was. So I wanted to um, kind of support in that way. But I used the Beauty Bay pastel palette, something else I can't remember. Um, <laughs> and this one, the color is really, really nice. And it's not coming off. It's not just randomly fading. Let's check back on the skin. Yeah, nice. It doesn't feel too greasy now. It actually feels like, kind of like my skin's absorbed it quite a bit. There isn't glitter in it. So if you see glitter on my skin, that's because I filmed just before this. You know glitter just doesn't come out. The shade Royal looks stunning. It's like that royal blue. Let's take a bit of that. Sorry, I forgot to zoom in. It can be a bit of a concern sometimes trying to build um, a deeper color on top of like a pastel or a light matte, but this is blending really nicely. Colors are going really well together. That's a really nice color. Okay, cool. So we'll sort out under the eyes in a bit. Let's. Let's go on with the shade at Disco, which is kind of this bluey purple. I'm trying to stay away from purple, didn't work. And let's just build that on here before we cut the crease. Just so we have something to blend into. This shimmer feels very creamy, really, really easy to apply. Like I'm really not taking that much out of the palette before. Okay, so that crease is cut. I'm gonna go back in with a shade Disco. And I'm just gonna tap that over the join of the cut crease. I'm just tapping it on my whole lid. And I'm just tapping, not wiping, just tap, tap, tapping. Just to get like a nice fade in. And then the shade Sea Salt looks really nice and like shiny and um, shiny. So I'm just gonna use a brush with a flatter edge, a bit of precision, just to go around the edge of that cut crease. There's also three of the liquid glitter shadows in this collection as well. I'm gonna use this kind of like silver one because I want this inside corner to be a bit more um, prominent. So this is the Disco Queen. Oh. That's better. I want that green, that first green that we used to be a little bit more prominent. So I'm just gonna take that up here. And just around the edge here as well, very, very lightly. <laughs> I feel like this collection is meant to be like really summery, which it is, it's their summer collection, I believe. And I've just created um, Beetlejuice, so. <laughs> really, really nice shadows, I'm really very impressed. But after trying the Jay Kizzer collection, I kind of expect that kind of quality from them now. Really, really blendable, full pigment color. We'll do that under eyes after I do foundation concealer. Um, I actually don't have an e.l.f. foundation that was nice on me. I got the wrong color. So I'll quickly put my own on and get back to you. So I've just done a little bit of BB cream and some concealer. I'm gonna go back in with the shade Royal under the eyes. Oh, 
I'm then going to take a really skinny brush and go back in with the green tone. Let's pop a little bit in there. Okay, so I just lined the waterline too. So I also got these two highlighters here. So we have Luna and Soul. Oh my god, they're so incredible. <laughs> Let's use the shade Soul. Now these look quite like glittery to me, so I am putting them on top of a wet surface, just because I find ones that look a little bit um, glittery, um, I personally don't like. I like them to look um, more metallic. I don't like to see that bit of individual pieces of glitter, if that makes sense. So putting them on a wet surface, whether that be your foundation, your BB cream, or spraying your face with a hydrating mist before or, or setting spray, is a good tip. It's surprising, it smells so good. It's surprisingly creamy. Okay, perfect. So I did swatch this and I thought I wouldn't like it because the swatch, I don't know if you can see on my wrist. No, you can't. The swatch came out really like, like glitter, like it looked like glitter. So I was like, this isn't gonna work for me. I like my highlights, like I said, not glittery. Lovely. Oh, I kind of wish I used the other one now. That's fine. Perfect, I'm just gonna powder my face a little. I believe in a collection is also like a body oil as well, but I got this body brush, which will look great on like shoulders and like, I like guess like the neck area for um, the highlighter, but I never show skin, so. <laughs> okay, so I also have the Dream On Lip Glosses, which are these ones here. Of course, the blue one speaks to me right there. Let's give that a go. They smell incredible. If you don't have a blue or a green gloss in your collection, Honestly, use them as like toppers to your lip lipstick and see how they change a green gloss on top of a red lipstick. Looks amazing. Nice, not not very much color, which is absolutely fine. Let's try the shade Strawberry Daiquiri. Mm -mm. So it has a bit more color to it, which is nice. Okay, let's get some lashes on this and finish it up. All right, everyone, so that is the finished look using the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Collection. What can I say? Eyeshadows worked really well. Everything worked really well. I don't really have a critique for any... I always get this... Everything just worked really well together. I don't really have a critique of anything. Um, it's a really, really nice collection. Very summery. I really struggle finding eyeshadows from drugstore brands that I really, really like. Um, Elf, I think, has kind of filled that void, which is great. These, uh, This palette is amazing. Their small palettes are amazing. The Jay Kizza palette was amazing. And they're the ones I've tried so far. So um, very, very happy with those. The highlighter was actually a nice surprise. I thought it was going to be glittery. The highlighters have this really nice like cream, like it's almost like a powdery creamy texture. The glosses are really comfortable on the lip. There's one here that's really shimmery. This one is called A Moment. Yeah, look how much shine that adds. This, will, this is quite clear, so that will look great on, um, again, on top of another product or just by itself. Really, really nice collection. I don't really have anything negative to say. That was really, really nice. Let me know your opinions below. Let me know if you have anything from this collection. The e.l.f. website, I'm getting the information from about the products. Kind of group it all together on one page. So I'll link that below for you all. And go ahead and check it out. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Please like this video and subscribe if you want to. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter again if you want to, no pressure. And I will see you tomorrow on Monday for some ghost stories. Thanks for joining me again, guys. I'll see you very soon. Bye.